I'm Mr. TapTap, and this is a little video walkthrough of La Mulana 2. The beginning here is pretty much just, you know, tutorial town, so we're not gonna... We're mostly gonna explain the game itself rather than, you know, try to walk you through our little its and bits. But, uh, first thing you wanna do, gonna break some of these pots, we're gonna need a little bit of money. If you haven't played the original La Mulana, that's not a big deal. Uh, this game pretty much dumps all the lore from the first game on you in the first, like, 20 minutes. Uh, this game is much more lore-heavy than the original game. Uh, whether you prefer that or not is pretty much up to choice. We're just gonna get... We need about 30 coins to leave here. Not to leave, but we, that's the good amount we want. So I'm gonna be skipping through all the dialogue and stuff. You, you shouldn't do that when you play, but you know, this is just to show you the actual secrets and stuff. So yeah. By the way, x is duplex backwards, this guy. Um, he's actually the developer. He's kind of a self-insert, and that's why he's such a... Uh, Pain in the butt. So now we have our 30 coins. So this is a save statue. Which is a good place to save. Oh, oops, that's... Yeah, this one. I just saved over my test run, but that's fine. It was a test run. So, first we want this map reader, because we're gonna get maps, but they're not useless. They're useless without that map reader. Uh, that hot spring over there is where you heal. We'll do that in a bit. So, don't worry if you missed it. So, there's three shops in this place. What we really need right now is just that text app and this hand scanner, because we can't read things. We can't read anything in the game without that. So now that we have that, we can go over to this thing and be like, oh hey, blah blah blah. That's cool. So, every time you see one of these pots, you're gonna want to break it, because we need a lot of weights and uh, money. So, basically, we just continue on into here. These things, by the way, they don't look like it, but these are um, signs that you read. They look like barrels with spikes on them. They're really signs. Also, this does not look like a ladder, but it is. So, that's, that's one of the, if you get stuck on something in the tutorial area, it's probably gonna be that. So, the way I'm gonna do this tutorial is um, I have not completely 100% of the game yet myself so I'm gonna do it in sections as we go along and what I'm gonna do if I miss an item what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this file after I do it and um, I'll make a video or videos at the very end to go and get 100% on this file so if you follow the tutorial and you got everything I did you can watch that video and get all the extra stuff so yeah that was a weight switch I just used it's uh pretty basic method of um, hiding stuff. You need, you do need weights to get that. Lots of enemies drop weights. This is kind of a dead end, just showing it off. You can buy weights in the store too, which we will almost certainly have to do in the second area of the ruins here. But uh, for now, this is a pretty safe tutorial area. It just kind of teaches you how things work in La Mulana and uh, a little bit of, you know, basic controls really. So this is a hook called a hook jump, and it's going to be pretty important. You might fail it your first few times. I'm going to look. This might look easier than it is. Um, so here's a cute little thing the game kind of tries to do to guide you. Boop. So we need that treasure chest, so the game kind of drops you down there your first time. That's the Holy Grail, which is kind of your fast travel item. And uh, you get cards when you talk to people and stuff, when in NPCs and when you defeat enemies in this game. And those are kind of added to your guidebook, just as sort of a little collection aspect of the game. There's no fall damage, but you do get stunned, and very often late in the game, if you fall, you're likely to get hit by an enemy. So, keep that in mind, but you're probably not going to fall to your death. There are spikes, but it's not like Mega Man spikes where it's instant death. So here's the second area of the game, Giant's Mausoleum, not entirely sure why it's a separate area from the first one. So you're, when you go through this, you're going to want to break every pot and defeat every enemy in your way. You'll get some weights and some money, and you'll be glad you have it, especially since these are pretty easy to beat. The bats, as far as I can tell, they can be surprisingly annoying. They don't seem to deliberately target you, but it really will feel like they do, because they can do some really annoying stuff. The one thing to be super aware of here in this place is you can accidentally activate hard mode. If you go over here, this thing actually tells you, hey, don't read this tablet. So let's read the tablet. You're forbidden from leaving your eyes on that tablet. Um, you get an achievement for reading that and for activating hard mode. If you look at it twice, it activates hard mode. And that just basically means like three times as many enemies will spawn in every room. And it's 
on blessings. I re do not do that your first playthrough. Even if you beat the original La Mulana, uh, I would not recommend hard mode for your first playthrough. I actually got stuck in this room, by the way, because I didn't realize this was a ladder. <laughs> so it's okay if you don't th if things don't look like things. Anytime you see that glow, by the way, that's a save point. So keep that in mind. Save often. Save all the time. Save forever. This place is pretty much a dead end. But there's some lore. There's lore everywhere. Again, um, I'm not going to be reading the lore because it's just a walkthrough. When you do play yourself, I do recommend it. There's there's both lore and hints, which the hints will definitely help you out. I mean, I'll help you out because this is a walkthrough. But Ominous. What, what, can you guys guess what's going to come up? Oh, yep, it's a boss. Tutorial boss. This red talk we're going to be seeing him a lot. This whole whip and jump and hit an enemy in a specific area. That's a very common theme of La Mulana bosses, so keep that in mind. That boss is... I think you'd have to try it. Oh. Here's, here's a hidden trap in the game. Every After almost every dialogue in the game, it opens to that kind of, you know, Ocarina of Time thing. Where it's like, do you want me to repeat that again? And, uh... <laughs> yeah, just always press B and, like, cancel out of that thing to avoid that. See, so as a nice little bonus, this is kind of, um, if we jumped over here before, it was a dead end, now it's open, so you can kind of use that as a shortcut, you don't have to go through most of that section now. So we're pretty much done for the tutorial thing, as you can see, not really too much gets in your way. But, that will change. This next area, if you thought this was easy, uh, the next area stops holding your hand, pretty much. It's kind of the, the baptism by fire. So yeah. This is good old Phobos, we're not going to talk to him. He has lots of lore and info on you if you missed the first game, so I really do recommend listening to him. Um, but since he's been so helpful to us, uh, we're going to destroy his pride and joy. And, uh, yeah. Shrug. <laughs> the animation in this game is so cute. So yeah, now we can enter Eglana, which is the real whole ruins of this game. Last game you explored the ruins of La Mulana. Now, we're going to go into the Eglana ruins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. And he gives you the ruins encyclopedia. Um, if you get apps, you have to install them on your thing, and you can actually set up different things. Because uh, eventually you'll run out of memory space on your little tablet here. And for some reason you have three tablets with you, and you can swap them out at any time. But don't worry about that too much. So, next time we're going to take a real dive into the actual part of the game that can get you killed. Um, the roots of Yggdrasil. There'll be a lot of Norse-themed stuff in this game. Whereas the first game felt more, I guess, aztec and kind of stuff? Yeah, that's a save point right there. So here's the real start of the game, La Mulana 2. And there's, I have, I have a written guide as well, if you prefer that. The written guide, some things are better shown through video, some things are better through text. I just kind of figured I would do both for this game to kind of try to... I had to replay it anyway to kind of refresh my memory, so I'm going to do a video guide anyway. Okay, this is the Roots of Redressal. I'll be doing a second video on how to show you on how to do this. Written guide in the description if you prefer to read instead of use video guides. Thanks for watching. Oops, I just realized I kind of forgot to explain the shops, didn't I? I'm naughty. So, the buckler here is very cheap and it protects you against enemy shots. Uh, I always forget to use it, but and it's breakable. But uh, it's very cheap, and it's pretty, it's pretty worth it. It'll block common enemy shots. And the pistol costs a lot of money. It basically is, if you're stuck on a boss, shoot him with a pistol, it does amazing damage. Which is funny, because it says it's small, so not very powerful. <laughs> but it actually does really good damage. The problem is that ammunition is like 500 for 6 bullets. So, it's the, the ammo is actually more expensive than the gun. It's like ink and cartridges for printers. But yeah. I don't entirely recommend the gun, because there's other very expensive items. Um, but if you're having trouble with a boss, keep that in mind. Uh, this guy just has the hand scanner, which we did buy in, in the tutorial. He has shuriken ammo, which you get the shuriken later on. Uh, he's got pepper, which I don't know what it does. Uh, that's an equipable item you can use in place of the hand scanner, and you can sprinkle pepper. I assume there's some weird esoteric um, puzzle later on in the game that might require that. This is a PC shop. What do you need? So she sells weights, which every PC shop sells weights and uh, is made in a tribal tent. And includes babies. Also, she's fun to tick off because she's like Satan incarnate, so that's nice. Never, never mess with a lady with her baby. 
Um, she has the map reader and text tracks, which uh, records messages. So you can record hints and stuff if you buy that app. It's a little bit pricey early on, but it can be nice to save the tips for certain puzzles. Of course, you're watching a you know, video walkthrough, so you might not really need that. But um, if you want to play the game on your own, which I really do recommend, by the way, uh, I recommend watching the, the guide videos when you get stuck and like you're like, oh man, I'm going to quit this game if I don't look up how to do this. And once you get past that, I would honestly just stop watching the video. Um, going to harm my own metrics with this one. But I would really just stop watching and uh, play on your own and just kind of see how far you can get. And if you get stuck again, obviously the videos are still going to be there. So that's just a little overview of the shops. 